I've got something for you. This is for your birthday. I forgot to give it you before. Don't you want it? No. Come on, I bought it especially. It's not my birthday anymore. Go on. Think of it as a bit of an extra surprise. <sighs> you alright, darling? Uh, yeah. Alfie, I've got to go. Hey? There's something I've got to do. Billy? Billy! Here's it, man. Do, um, do, do you want to go and sit down? No, I don't want to sit. What? I'm sorry, Billy. Is there someone else? Oh, no, there isn't there. For God's sake, man, just talk to me, will you? I'm trying, Billy, I'm trying. Just, just tell me. Whatever it is, whatever's happened, I'll deal with it. We can face it together. I promise. I'm sorry, Billy, I'm so sorry. That night, when I was late home, I was raped. Well, you, you can't just sit there and come out with something like that. Mo! I have been raped, Billy. But you can't have been. Look at you. You're not hurt or nothing? Please, Billy. It happened the night before my birthday. The night I came home late. I haven't said anything because, I don't know, I, I didn't know what to do. I tried pretending it didn't happen. But it did happen, Billy. It did. Last Tuesday. Who was it, Mum? Oh, I've been so afraid. Saying anything to anybody. <sighs> Graham. Graham? Yeah. That bloke who gave you the flower? I never did anything, Billy. I've been over and over it in my head. I never did nothing, nothing at all. He just he just turned on me. Billy, where are you going? I'm sorry. This... No, what do you mean? You're, you're telling me that this Graham, this bloke that. No, Billy, please! No. I can't take this in. I know, Billy, I know. Why didn't you tell me before? Because I didn't want to spoil things. What? Well, we'd only just got back to normal, you know, you and me, and then there's Cat's wedding to look forward to, and... Oh, for God's sake, Mo! I don't know, Billy, I was frightened! What, of me? No! No, of what would happen? Billy, we've got to do something about this. Where? What? Where did he...? In the Vic. Where? In the bar? The, the kitchen? What did you do? Did you eat your what? No, really, please. Just hold me. No more questions. Not just for a minute. Just please hold me. I'm sorry, Billy. I told you, Mark, this isn't your fault. Yeah, but it's me putting you through it again, isn't it? I was going to keep my mouth shut. I couldn't have said nothing at all. I was going to. But I thought I was being strong, you know. Hey, hey, Mo, this is strong. What you're doing right here and now, this is strong. Mrs Mitchell? I'm Paula Campbell. You're police, right? Yeah, I'm with a unit called Sapphire Walford. Uh, the officer you spoke to when you first came in, he explained who we are, yeah? Special unit, right? Oh, oh, sorry, this is Billy Mitchell. This is my husband. Oh. 
That's right, Mr. Mitchell. Now, we look after you from now on. What does that mean? What's going to happen? It's uh, Maureen, right? What do I have to do? All I want you to do from now is just tell me what happened. You can take as much time as you want. We could do this with just me and you, if you'd find it easier. Oh, no, I want Billy here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to be here now. OK. So, when did this attack take place? It was a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Though? If Maureen could just tell me what happened herself. Um, last, uh, no, Tuesday. OK. And um, where did it take place? Uh, in the pub. Uh, um, the Queen Victoria on Albert Square. I worked there, well, you know, part-time, anyway. And your attacker? Do you know him? Yeah. And his name? Graham. Graham Foster. OK. And this Graham Foster, is he a customer or a friend? Well, um, a customer and, and a friend. Oh, at least I thought he was a friend. He just sort of, you know, chat away to me while I was working, you know. Make little jokes, that sort of thing, you know. Do we think anything of it? OK. So, what happened exactly? You were in the pub, and so was he. And you were both alone, yes? Yes, it was the end of the night and everyone was going home. And I thought he'd go home too, but then before I knew it, he was helping me to clear up. He, uh, he put some music on and then he helped himself to a drink. And then... And then he started to say things. I didn't think anything of it. it I, I just thought he was being friendly. Hey, what sort of things? Go on. Well, like I had a pretty smile. I told him not to, Billy. I told him that I was a married woman and it wasn't right. But then he said, why can't a man say nice things to a woman if he wants to? And that, he, you know, he was only being friendly and he didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, of course, I believed him. <laughs> so, what happened then? Well, he chatted away for a bit and he finished his drink and I carried on clearing up and I thought he'd gone. I was uh, putting all the cigarette butts into one ashtray, you know, so I could take them out all together. And then this song come on again. He come up behind me. He gave me a fright. I tried to get him to leave, but then he said he'd leave once the song was over. And then I said that that was OK. No, 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 because it wasn't OK. Because I'd only said that because I thought he was going to put it on the once. I'd have never said to him, I thought he was going to put it on again. It's all right, it's all right, darling. It's all right. So what happened next? Next thing I knew, I was on the floor. And he was on top of me. I must have knocked the table, you know, as he pushed me down. Because all I remember is I remember seeing all the cigarettes on the floor, you know, that I collected in the ashtray. And I remember thinking to myself, well, that's a terrible shame because I'm going to have to clear all those up again. And I kept thinking that and I kept thinking that while he was doing what he was doing because I couldn't think about anything else. So what happens now? How is she? What she told you? She still ain't come down yet. I saw Billy earlier. What's he say? Well, as soon as he saw me, he turned towel. I was in me cab, so I couldn't stop him. Look, 
Maybe she'll listen to me. Lynn's tried. Best leave her right now. But I'm her dad. I mean, I... Right, Mo? Mo, darling. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, sit down. You've been so worried. Sorry. Can you be sorry? You've got nothing to be sorry for. None of this is your fault. How are you feeling? Mo, tell us what happened. Who did this to you? I don't think I can go through this all again. We don't want to make you suffer. We need to know. I was in the Vic. In the Vic? I was on my own. I was looking up to. So someone broke in? No. I thought everyone had gone home. He was in the gents. When he come out, I thought he didn't realise, but... Oh, he, must he must have been waiting for me. He must have been so scared. No. No, I wasn't. Because he behaved just like normal. He was chatting. He got me a drink. He was talking to me just like we were mates and... Then he just... That he's just changed, and that's when it happened. So you knew him? It was in the Vic. So I know him. I didn't realise. He was all so friendly, everyone seemed to like him. Who was it, Mo? Who was it? Was it Graham? Yeah. Oh, it was Graham. He hasn't been around that long. He's a, he's a sort of bloke that you wouldn't really notice. I thought he was a mate. I played darts with him, I drove him home, and then the old Bill nicked him right in front of me. But he wasn't even bothered. Misunderstanding, he said. It's all right, Dad. Oh. I thought he was a nice bloke too. Well, what about Billy? Does he know? Yes. Well, why didn't he tell us? Because I asked him not to. Don't have a go at him, Nan. It's not his fault. Well, where is he? He's just scalpered. Yes, because he doesn't want me to have this baby. Oh, I can't believe this. Where are you off to? I'm sorry, Mum, but I can't listen to this. It's all right, Dad. I understand. If I see him, I'm going to kill him. How did he think he'd get away with this, Well, eh? he's not going to because I've been to the police. When did you go to the police? A few weeks ago. On your own? No. Billy came with me. Well, at least he was there for that. What about this Graham, this piece of dirt? What's he... Don't tell me he's walking the streets. He got bail, but don't worry because he can't come anywhere near me. Too true he can't. Not by the time we finished with no, him. No, Nan. I didn't want to go to the police, but I did. And now I'm prepared to go to court and everything and I want him dealt with and I want him dealt with properly. I've had enough violence, Nan. Please. You can't go to court. Not after what you went through with Trevor. Oh, look, Nan, if it's what she wants, we'll support her, OK? Even about the baby. We'll talk it through. Help you do the right thing. I'm already doing the right thing. What now? I don't know. Well, I've got a car here. Give you a lift if you like. What about us? Nothing's changed, has it? Let's just get back, eh? Billy! What? I'm not coming back. What do you mean? I can't go back. I'm keeping this baby, so I can't go back there. Why not? I can't bring up a baby somewhere where it's not wanted. Somewhere where all anyone thinks about is... is a rape. So what, you... you're just going to leave? I'm going to do what's best for baby. You mean run away? No. I mean protect it. Well, this is nutty. Where, where are you going to go? Well, I'll go to Belinda's and get some stuff sent on and... Then I'm going to make a decision from there. Hey, look, just take your time, mate. Come back with me now. Talk to your dad. Discuss it. No, I can't go back. They won't let me leave. They'll all clam up and then they'll pretend everything's OK and it'll be just like it's always been. 
them tiptoeing around me, trying to protect me and me sticking my head in the sand. I can't bring up a child like that. I can never go back there. So what about me? You know how I feel about you. I chose the baby. And like you said, I can't have both. So what? What if you could? What if things were different? Different? Yeah, but what, what if I really tried to make a go of it? Of what? It was me. And the baby? It as well, yeah. It? Him, her, her, her I don't know. What, what if I really tried, eh? Maybe we could make it work. I know it wouldn't be easy, but I reckon I could do it. For once in my life, I could do the right thing. Yeah, but not because you want to. Yes, because I want to, because I want you. And the baby. Yes, yes. You really think you could do that? Yes, I, I can. I'll make myself. And will you make yourself love it too? Ah. Will you love this baby? When you put it in bed at night, when you tuck it in, when you look down at it, will you think, oh, I love that child. Will you love it like it's your own? It's not going to work, is it? It doesn't matter how much we want it to. It's just not going to work. Oh, please. Go. I love you. Mark. I'm sorry. Bye. With us. I'll turn it in, will you? You should set up an account with all your court appearances. No, oh, don't start. I'm just making conversation. Feeling better, love? In you get. Right, madam, I expect you to be on your best behaviour today, all right? Don't worry, Uncle Charlie. I'm sure Gary will keep a close eye on me. Now, let's get this over with. Where's Kat? Oh, Charlie, she's uh, she's coming down with flu or something, mate. She ain't coming. Well then, looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Yeah, look, hang on a second. I was just. I won't be long. Okay, well, I'll put the kettle on, mate. It's a cup of tea, eh? Abby? Yeah, all sorted. I think I'm gonna like it round here. I wonder if little Mo's here yet. I just want to give her a big hug and tell her everything's gonna be okay. As long as we don't bump into that Graham. Even if we do, we can't let him wind us up. That's what he wants. Just look what happened last time. Here, Zoe, how are you feeling? I just want to focus on the trial, nothing else. Listen, you know, Kat's all over the place at the moment, and anyway. she's lashing out at everyone. I don't even want to hear her name. As far as I'm concerned, she may as well be dead. I tell my dad you was asking after yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Yeah, darling. Oh. You keep the change. Oh, thanks. See so, you later. Thanks.
There it is. <laughs> nice hairdo, mate. I was only having a laugh. Keep your wigs on. <laughs> Some people have got no sense of humour. Kathleen! Oh, someone's in trouble. She's as drunk as a lord. What did I tell you, eh? <sighs> I've come to support little Mo. You're in no state to go into that courtroom, yeah. right? You try and stop me. Keep your voice down, will ya? Do you really think little Mo wants to see you like this? You're a disgrace. Yes! I'm a disgrace! Oh, like and I'm proud of it! Alfie, get her out of my sight. Right now. Oh, right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get go. off me! I've got just as much right to be here than the rest of you. Embarrassing. Oh, I don't care. I've come to support my sister. Well, I'll keep it down. Just leave me alone. No. See, so you lot ain't changed. How did you feel about your wife working behind the bar at the uh, Queen Victoria Public House? I don't know. Well, were you happy for her to work there? Not really. Why not? Well, it's just her, that's all. She's a very private person. Oh, but she enjoyed it there, didn't she? Yeah. And how did you feel when you saw her smiling at the customers? All right. All right? Well, OK, I wasn't all right. I, I didn't like it, but it wasn't her fault. She weren't doing nothing wrong. I mean, it's part of the job, isn't it? Being nice to the punters. And she was nice to the punters. One punter in particular, my client. You didn't like her being nice to him, did you? No. But she was only doing her job. Did you know that your wife had accepted the gift of a flower from Mr Foster? Yes. How did you feel about that? I felt a bit jealous. Jealous? Yeah, but I was wrong to be jealous. I mean, it's only a flower. I didn't like my wife working in the pub, but she was only doing it so as we could save some money, get another place, you know, a place of our own and start a family. She was just doing it for us. But there was a special relationship all the same between her and my client. What you have to understand about Mo, right, is, well, she's a perfectionist. Everything she does, even if it's just cleaning the front step, well, she's got to do it properly. So if she takes on a job of a, of a barmaid, well, she'll do it as well as she can. If that means smiling at the punters, well, that's what she'll do. So she's got high standards. She's a good person. There ain't no side to her. And because she's so good herself, well, she thinks everybody else is the same way. She was only being friendly to him because it was part of her job. And she just thought he was being friendly back. Mm, well, coming back to her relationship with my There client. was no relationship. <laughs> with respect, Mr Mitchell, that... People don't come no better than my wife. She's good through and through. And if, if she has got a fault, well, it's because she's too trusting and innocent for her own good. Please, Mr Mitchell... I've never known her to tell a lie. Not in all the time I've known her. She wouldn't know how to lie. So if she says that he raped her, and that's the truth. And that kid, her baby, he's, he is one lucky kid because with her as his mum, he's going to grow up to be a wonderful man. Mm, this is all very well, Mr Mitchell. It's the worst mistake I ever made, letting her and my baby go. But it's not your baby, is it? It could have been. He might have been a father. But I could have been his dad. His proper dad. I had that chance and I threw it away. And it's the worst thing that I've ever done. And I've never regretted anything more in my whole life. Ultimately, in a case such as this, it comes down to one person's word against another. Whom do you believe, the accuser or the accused? It has to be your decision. But in coming to your decision, I would remind you that in this country, a man is presumed innocent until proved guilty. If any of you has the slightest doubt in your minds as to whether this was rape, if you think there is the slightest possibility that what happened was sex between consenting adults, then I am bound to tell you that it is your duty to find the defendant not guilty. All right, I'll come in. Shh. 
Shouldn't have run off like that this morning, mate. There was nothing more to say. It wasn't that I didn't want to hold him. Oh, yeah? Look that way to me. I thought I might break him. He's a baby, Billy. Not a china doll. But I don't know about babies, do I? But I want to learn. No, I want us to get back together. I want to wake up beside you every day. And I want to be Freddy's dad. You don't love him, Billy. No, I don't. Not yet. You know, how can I? I don't know him. I will love him. I know I will, if you just give me a chance. Remember the day when we got married? Of course. Remember how happy we was? All our hopes that we had and the plans that we made. We was going to start a family, weren't we? Hey, and our family, well, he was going to be the happiest family ever in the history of the universe. Mm. Yeah. Well, this, this might not be exactly what we had in mind, but it can still happen. We can make it happen. All parties in the case of the Crown against Foster, please make their way now to court number three. The verdict? Yeah, it's perfect. Already? You OK? I'm not sure. It's going to be fine. What, even if they say he ain't guilty? We'll make it fine. All parties in the case of the Crown against Foster, please make their way now. Have you reached a verdict on which you're all agreed? Yes. Alfie? On the charge of rape, do you find the defendant guilty? Alfie, please tell me. Or not guilty? Guilty. Oh, my God.